Enugu Rangers is one of the powerhouses of Nigeria's domestic football scene. As one of two Division I clubs never to be relegated, the Rangers know all too well the ever-changing club football landscape in Nigeria. And the Premier League started in um, five years ago. It is at the, um, the, the instance of the club managers, the 20 clubs then, who were not comfortable, who were not pleased with the old management. So they said, no, we can't run, we can't work with these other guys. Let's create a, a, a new platform where we have a lot of professionals. While the Super Eagles, the country's national team, remains its flagship brand, over the years, club football has enjoyed a boon in sponsorship. We are seeing club been getting bandaged shirts. Uh, multinational beers coming in to sponsor this club, construction companies. Nigeria's national team often features players who mainly ply their trade in Europe. This trend of selection has, however, changed. This year, a number of domestic-based players were included in the team. This many see as a way to boost the domestic players. However, problems ranging from poor administration, corruption by referees and players, to indiscipline among the fans during matches threaten to derail any gains made in the domestic scene. The challenges are very, they are very enormous, given the peculiarity of our society. There's a lot of hope. In an imagined environment, imagine economy, imagine market, that's really so hope. A developing team is something that you expect it to go, you just die. For the players, a well-run league helps them further their careers. The Nigerian Professional Football League is hoping by providing these, they can restore Nigeria's image in the football scene, both locally and internationally. Celestine Karone, CCTV.